In Kansas, we've learned the coronavirus patient who died in Wyandotte County was living at the Life Care Center of Kansas City. It's operated by the same company as the facility in Washington State where dozens of people have contracted the virus. Now the unified government of Wyandotte County is working to find people who may have been exposed. KCK firefighters who took that patient to the hospital are in self-quarantine right now. 41 Action supporter Sarah Plague joins us live. Sarah, those firefighters are not showing symptoms right now, huh? No, not at this time. And after that man died, uh, the fire crews are concerned and they would like to see some more instruction. Five Kansas City, Kansas firefighters and their families are in self-isolation after unknowingly coming into contact with the coronavirus patient on Tuesday. We don't know to what uh, degree of risk that their family members may have been, uh, any of the other firefighters that they were in quarters with or running other calls with or any of the other patients. On top of that, the Firefighters Union Local 64 says so far the department doesn't have enough protection equipment for their crews. They haven't had in-person training and says they could be using better sanitation measures. I think I would and, and our membership would feel a lot more comfortable if we were taking steps in that manner, even if they were above and beyond. Assistant Chief Mark Heath says they sent out some instruction last week and on Friday, department personnel were going station to station with more training. We want to mitigate risk, but we also want to have crews prepared for the level of call that they're going into. Um, dispatch is queuing and talking to patients before we arrive. If it's a suspect patient or it's patients under investigation, there's alerts that come up on the tablets. They have gowns, masks, gloves, and glasses. He says they ordered foggers to sanitize their vehicles, similar to what the Kansas City Fire Department is already doing. But they're not doing everything like their neighboring city. We feel that based on the supplies we have available to us, there's a national shortage of masks, gowns, and gloves. If we were to implement the same mannerisms that Kansas City, Missouri have, we are worried that we would run out. And we reached out to the UG and Mayor Alvey's office multiple times for an interview, but we were surprised to find out that they would refuse to speak with us. I'm Sarah Plake, 41 Action News. Life Care Center has locations in more than half of all U.S. states. The locations in Missouri include Grandview and Carrollton. We went to Life Care Center of Kansas City for comment on this story. A staff member told 41 Action News to contact a company spokesperson. That person hasn't answered our calls and their voicemail is full.